And we'll prepare to come into our breath practice. And this is the breath we're about to explore is called Chandra Verhana, and it translates into moon piercing breath. And there's two different ways we can explore it, and I'll show you both of those. So sitting in any way that feels supportive to your body, anything that allows you to uh, have a, a tall spine, and the reason why we sit with a tall spine uh, when we practice pranayama, breath work, is to allow our lungs and our diaphragm lots of room to expand and, um, and stretch and open compared to if we are collapsed forward, it shortens that space that our diaphragm and our lungs are able to utilize. So whatever shape allows you to sit up nice and tall and create space in your body, and you might place a blanket underneath your hips or a bolster or anything else that maybe gives you a little bit of height that can be helpful too. So taking a moment to set up however you would like to set up. And when you feel settled, We will just begin by noticing our breath moving in and out. You don't have to force your breath to change. You can simply breathe with ease. Watching your inhales as they flow in. And your exhales as they flow out. Two or three more rounds of breath here, just watching. If at any point you notice your spine starting to compress and shorten, just simply return to spaciousness, something that feels buoyant and gentle rather than forced. And you might decide to stay right here for the remainder of our pranayama time simply watching your breath move in and out. And this is a good place to be. Or if you'd like to explore Chandra Berhana with me, I invite you to take one hand. I'm gonna use my right hand because I'm right hand dominant, but you can use either one. And option one is to take your index and your middle finger and draw them toward your palm. And that's gonna cause your ring finger and your pinky finger to curl in, and that's okay. They don't have to be upright. So maybe even extending the ring finger and pinky finger just straight out as your first two fingers curl in and your thumb is extended out. Now this is a mudra, it's a hand positioning that is um, helpful in these alternate nostril breathing techniques that we're about to explore. However, if this is too distracting and 
literally just unhelpful in the moment, you can release it. You don't have to explore this mudra today. You can release it, okay? If you choose to work with this mudra, you would bring your hand toward your nose, toward your face. And it's when we come into this alternate breathing technique, whether you are working with the mudra or not, it's still gonna be the same action with your hands. So we'll breathe in together. And exhale with ease. And as you get ready to breathe in, close off your right nostril. As you breathe out, close off your left and exhale through the right nostril. And repeat. Close off the right. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. And continue in this pattern for at least 12 rounds of breath or more. However, you can release this breath at any time. If you do not want to explore the alternate nostril breathing technique, you can simply close off your right nostril and just breathe in and out through your left, just like this. So you have three choices here. You can simply watch your natural breath move in and out. That's the first choice. The second choice is to inhale through your left nostril, exhale through your right nostril, continuing this pattern. The third choice is to simply close off your right nostril and breathe in and out through your left nostril. And I welcome you to be here for 10 more rounds of breath. So 10 inhales and 10 exhales, taking your time. This doesn't have to be a rush. It can be as slow and as easeful as you'd like to. If at any time this alternate nostril breathing does not feel safe or supportive to you, you can release it at any moment. Last one or two rounds of breath. And you'll finish on an exhale wherever you're at. And after your last exhale, if your right hand is at your face, you might release it, resting it on your lap. And as you breathe in and out naturally, taking a few moments to observe any effects of this breath practice. How do you feel in your body?
One more round of breath here.